Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a detailed review on this Cuisinart Grind and Brew coffee maker. Model number DGB-550BKP1. This is also really similar to the DJB-600BC that has the thermal carafe. This has got the glass carafe and it's got a warming plate underneath here that'll keep your coffee warm. This is a 12 cup coffee maker. Let's do dimensions real quick. Front to back's about nine inches. Side to side's eight. And it's not too bad tall, 18 inches tall. It will fit under a kitchen cabinet. Kitchen cabinets are 19 inches tall. So Cuisinart does make some pretty good grind and brew coffee makers. The clock display on this is a little lacking, but here we've got this lid we open up. There's the grinder. There's where we're gonna put the coffee. And if we lift this lid, this is just a chop grinder. So it actually works pretty good though. It chops the, the coffee bean, the whole coffee bean, and it sends it down that chute. And this little release button right here pops out. This is the brew basket. This is very important to have on. The ground coffee is gonna be shot in there. The water goes in here, but then it gets distributed evenly in these little holes. The hot water is gonna come out. So that's very important. It comes with a reusable filter, okay? But you can use a basket style eight to 12 cup coffee filter. You can use a reusable or a, a paper one. You just can't use them at the same time. It's either or, either this or that. There's the brew basket, it's got the plunger in the bottom. When the craft is installed, it pushes the plunger up, lets the coffee out. It comes off, pretty, pretty basic. It fits on there pretty good. We can see down in there is where the coffee's gonna come out. Yeah, so getting this brew basket on is a little tricky. You think it's gonna, it's it's not held in there super tight. It's it's kind of just stays flush. And then it has to slide in this track when you close it. And then you close it, it'll it should snap. Again, we've got the standard Cuisinart craft. This is their glass one. You could have a thermal. One, the thermal one only does 10 cups. So you have to buy coffee that's the whole bean coffee. And it comes in the whole bean. So before we begin, let's make, you always gotta make sure your filter's in. This is something I'm not used to. Normally, you put your coffee into the filter, but you're gonna be putting the coffee in up here. You've gotta just double check, make sure the filter's installed and this filter basket cover. And it's got kind of a groove and then Snap it close. We're gonna lift this off. These have interlocks. So there's a button down there that has to get pressed, but it will only get pressed if, if that is installed over it. That white thing gets pressed from the lid. So all of this has to be, all of this has to make in order for that grinder to work. They don't want people activating that grinder by accident with their hand in there. So that's the interlock. Again, there's where the water goes. So I did fail to mention, it's got this big, long, there's a water filter handle. Now, I don't have a Cuisinart uh, water filter in there right now, but you just soak it in water for about 10 minutes, run it under the sink for 30 seconds. It's a charcoal water filter. Now, this one's a little different. The handle's off to the side. So you put it in, the handle's going to hug the side down there. And that's where it goes. Make sure it's in all the way. If you don't, it will float and it's not doing its job. There is no window on the side to see how much water you got in. You've got these steps. Okay, so we're gonna put one tablespoon of whole bean coffee right into here. We're gonna lift this up per cup we're gonna brew. So if I was gonna do the full 12 cups, I would put 12 tablespoons of the coffee beans right here. I'm only gonna brew six cups. So I'm gonna put six tablespoons of coffee into here. So there's, there's one, there's two. Okay, so then I'm gonna make sure and put the cover on. I've got my coffee beans in there. I gotta put my water in. Now you can uh, brew normal coffee. So I could open this up. I can put pre-ground coffee already in here. I just have to turn the grinder off. When I hit the grinder off button, it lights that light. Then when I press the brew button, it's not gonna run the grinder. It'll just start brewing the hot water over this. 
but I'm going to show you the gr with the grinder. Again, make sure this is installed. Let's go fill it up to the six mark. Okay, I've got my water installed up to the six mark. I've got my uh, cap on. I'm going to put this down, make sure this snaps. My, cr my uh, filter's in, craft's in. Simply it again. You're simply just going to hit the So it's going to grind the coffee beans. That's just on a timer. It's, it'll go off after a certain amount of time. Then it'll start brewing the, the water. It is kind of loud. Okay, so again, it turns the grinder off automatically. It's called an automatic grind and brew. The power light is still on. It's going to start heating that water now and sending it over the coffee grinds. And then we'll start getting some coffee. Okay, so it started to brew. You can hear it brew in the water. It sounds like a pretty standard coffee maker at this point. Check out my next video. I'm gonna show you how to program it. I'm gonna show you how to, if you wanna have this for you in the morning, have a pot of coffee waiting for you in the morning, I'll show you how to program it. And I'm also gonna show you how to descale it. So if your coffee's not tasting as good as it should be, I'm gonna show you how to descale the inside of the coffee maker. Here I've got an old Cuisinart and there's the heating element. That, and I've got it cut open right now. That's why we descale coffee makers. Okay, so let's try to find the temperature of the water coming out of the brew basket. 175, that's pretty hot. That's 177, 179. So 179 is about as hot as I saw. It does have pause brewing, so if I want to grab a quick cup of coffee, it will. the plunger will come down. But then I got to put that back right away. I can't leave that out or it will start to overflow. There's the coffee coming out. There it is. So Cuisinart has several models of the grind and brew. They kind of hold their own with the grind and brew. Um, they're the ones to go to for it. This is a chop grinder. They do have one that's a burr grinder. It's a, it's a lot more expensive actually. Okay, so it's getting towards the end of its brew. We're almost to the six cup mark. It brews about a cup a minute. So this took about six minutes where a full pot would take about 12 minutes. It gets a little noisier towards the end and you get some steam coming up here. Again, this can be hot, so be careful. Now it, it will beep at you five beeps when it's done and it does have auto shut off. So if you forget to turn it off, it will turn itself off. Okay, so let's see how the craft pours. Pours really nice. So it's cooled off a little bit. It was about 165 when I first poured it. Okay, so the beeps at you to let you know it's done. There's no way to turn those beeps off. So let's look and see how it did. Let's open this up. Again, be careful. I'm doing it a little early. You want to let this cool off. So all the coffee grounds did go in to the brew basket. That's good. And there's the brew. There's the coffee grounds. You can see there's some, you know, you got some fines and some kind of bigger chunks. That's pretty indicative of a uh, chop grinder. A burr grinder does get them a little bit more consistent. So let's check this. Again, be careful, this is gonna be hot. We brewed all the water. It brews all the water that you put in. So let's talk cleanup now. It's got this little handle here to grab it and we can dump out those coffee grounds. We're gonna have to clean this every time because water vapor does, hot water does get up in there. This is gonna be hot but we can take this whole assembly out. Once in a while, you'll get a coffee bean down there you gotta clean. We can even take this door off if we tilt it. I couldn't do it one-handed, but if you, if you get it at a certain angle, it will come straight out and then it's easy, you can clean this. So all these parts are dishwasher safe. 
Um, you have to clean this grinder after every use. See how it does get wet? You don't ever want to put coffee beans in there with this wet. And so sometimes this is a little easier to clean with a brush just because of all the work that it does do. But we'll get all these cleaned up. Okay, I got everything cleaned up. Let's put this back together. Again, there's what the grinder looks like. It fits on there and that kind of... Sh and then this fits right like that. Make sure that is lined up on that. Kind of like that. And the lid will close. Brew basket, handle, filter, and this. Push it in and snap it in, and you're ready to go for your next one. Make sure you empty your craft. I'm gonna drink that coffee, I'm not gonna empty it right now. It does taste pretty good. Thanks everybody for watching. Again, I'll do a detailed video on descaling and how to program it.